Caddis Maximus here, this time with a review of a vintage Napa <clears throat> Roundhead Ratchet, MB45, of course made in the USA. This panel here, this raised panel, and the uniqueness of this reverse lever makes me think that this is an Eastco built ratchet. No hole in the handle, but pretty solid knurling, I like that. Actually, there's just a lot of steel for a 3 8 ratchet, this is pretty heavy duty. Or... I should say pretty heavy duty. We have a distinctive sound. See how that's going back and forth? And each click has a, just a slightly different tone. That's indicating that we have a dual Paul ratchet. And I know a lot of, uh, it'll be an SK style just with two Pauls instead of one. Not the easiest thing to disassemble because there's our retaining ring just tucked right down in there. So I'm going to go ahead and use some appropriate vintage crest alloy crescent uh, Jamestown needle nose pliers. <clears throat> the, these types of retaining rings are always exciting because you kind of get it pinched and then try to work the ratchet head out so there was a little oil inside so even though it's kind of rusty there um, there's enough oil to prevent the rust from getting on the internals and as we can see we have one paw there and the second three paw three tooth paw there the difference in sounds there's two ways that they do this one is both paws basically work simultaneously to double the strength of the ratchet and sometimes what they do is they, it allows them to have thicker teeth but each paw is just slightly offset so if you have say 40 teeth and one paw is half a tooth offset from the other you effectively get an 80 tooth ratchet many times in what i read uh that isn't the intention is to make double the teeth it's just to make them stronger because of course these types of rocking paws versus like the new britons all the load is on these pins, and I actually did a video maybe a year ago about a flex head ratchet Napa where it had failed, and what had happened is both of, it was a dual paw, and both of these little pins sheared. And really, a very tough ratchet will be the anvil that shears. There's been a lot of ratchet failure testing videos on YouTube, and a vast majority of them. It's the anvil that fails, and it's how I would expect it. Here's our reverse lever. It actually has two elliptical slots for the pins themselves, and then it has the little D shape, and so it's just rotating the center portion to achieve the reversing action. So really, it's not a bad ratchet. And it is stronger having two swing paws, but versus like the New Britain Kilnes design, uh, it just isn't my favorite, although this one, once again, isn't too bad. So anyway, I'll just clean this up, give it a little bit of oil. Get my flashlight here. Actually, the inside of the ratchet looks really good. So, just a little bit of lube, and we'll have a nice classic Napa Twin Paul 3 8 ratchet. It's always tricky, because you have to take this little oddball snap ring and compress it right into its slot and then try to fidget it all together. It's much easier if you hold the handle like in a vise to get these reassembled. But of course, giving it a little bit of lube works absolutely great. Actually surprisingly smooth. Fair amount of back drag, but not really too bad. But I do like this uh, uh, design. It is still a pretty good design, even if it isn't like ultimately the strongest of classic 1970s ratchets. Napa's always had decent stuff, and this is a still a respectable tool. Has a finger spinner on the front. Due to the nature of the design, the anvil it does have a little bit of play, but it's not too bad. And the body is, of course, extra thick. I mean, this ratchet, what's going to fail, once again, is going to be those two pins that hold the paws. Otherwise, pretty definitive uh, reversing action. 
not quite as rigid or as stiff as a uh, New Britain style, but it does have a nice click, basically because it has two springs interacting with two paws, so you have just a little bit more of a definitive click in there. Pretty easy to turn. It is a cast zinc reverse lever, but it's still, at least it's uh, metal. The detent is pretty strong. I wouldn't say that it's, you know, sn snap on strong, but still, it's not too bad. And so, just wanted to make a video. Haven't done many videos about Napa branded ratchets, but Napa has been around for a long time, and they've had a lot of people making tools for them. And so, doing one of these old uh, vintage ones is always kind of cool. Anyway, thanks for watching.